you doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today's video is going to be uh, four cracks that I'm going to share with you guys and a get ready with me. So if you guys are interested, keep on watching. So I thought I would do a get ready with me, but only share four products. So it's not like you're going to see me throughout the whole thing of every single product I put on. I figured I'd just share uh, four products that I've been playing around with, see how well everything is working out, I guess, basically. So some of the products I'm going to work along with you guys is uh, I did pick up the Physician's Formula uh, new foundation. It's the Healthy Foundation with an SPF of 20. I also picked up the Primer Spotlight. I'm going to show you the Sophie palette, this palette here. Some guys recommended they wanted to see a look with it and see how they perform and then the unlashed uh, mascara from Wonder Beauty that I promised you guys I wanted to show you a demonstration of it. I'm gonna go ahead and do my primer. Now I have been playing around with these products for a while so at some point I will let you know here what I'm thinking of them. Spotlight primer I'm finding what I need first is to put in around the middle part here a little bit is my Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Pore Minimizing because if I only use this, it's not a pore minimizing primer. It is an illuminating primer. And if you do have some pores that you want to diminish or not, you know, make it look a little more flawless, you will maybe want to use a pore minimizing primer. Then I'm going to go ahead and use this primer here. I will let you guys see what it looks like, the coloring. It's a, a champagne color. I'm trying to remember. It has an interesting scent. And I'm trying to figure out what the scent is. It does have a scent to it. And I'm not sure. Maybe that's a chemical kind of a scent. I'm not sure. And it feels nice. It's been working good for me since I'm doing it this way, though. You could mix it with your foundation if you want to. Don't normally put my mascara on first. But I am going to do it for this video because I feel like if you see me put the mascara on first, you'll get a full in-depth look of see, to see how well this mascara performs. Because uh, obviously when you add eyeliner and those kind of things, it makes your lashes look, it gives the illusion and that they're bigger and thicker, you know, that kind of a thing. As I showed you guys, it is a nice brush wand it's not no plastic and it curves in a real nice angle because it does curl your lashes and I start from the root work all the way up to the tip yeah that's where I'm gonna go and I twirl it as I go but honestly it is becoming my favorite mascara I think now more I play with it, so I'm going to have to buy some more when this one runs out. Well, I'll probably buy it before this one runs out. If you can already see, that's just one coat. I only do two coats. I'm not, that's about my limit of doing mascara. Okay, so that's two coats. I figure if I look up, it helps give you an idea of how well they look, you know. It's a drying mascara. It's not wet. It is more of a drying mascara. I mean, that's why I'm falling in love with it. So I'm going to finish up the other eyelash and then we'll get started into the Sophie palette. The Sophie palette. This is it here. It has really pretty colors in there. Just such a variety. So many colors to pick from. It is crazy. I already put a base. I did my primer. I did put a base on my eyes. And this one here is called Iced Coffee. I'm going to use that uh, above the crease. So basically my transition shade. This might be a challenge with my, ma my mascara already being on. But it's worth it so that you guys can really see how well this mascara works. 
And it's crazy how big and fluffy my lashes are. This color right here is called Termus. Termus or it's an Italian dessert, I believe. That's what I'm gonna put working a little bit more in the crease area. I'm gonna share a story with you guys a little bit while I'm doing this. And because I know sometimes you guys enjoy hearing some of my crazy stories. And this is when I was probably about three. Now my mom told me this story. I don't remember it. Just it's a story that my mom tells me. You know, I was in the process. I was doing pretty good with my potty training and all those kind of things. Well, I guess I ended up doing the number two in my pants. And I didn't want my mom to find out because I thought, you know, I don't want to get in trouble. And so my mom said what happened was she got a call from a neighbor next door. And they were letting her know, hey, your daughter's outside, out back, <laughs> butt naked, <laughs> digging a hole in the yard. So I guess I must have thought me hiding the underpants, <laughs> I wouldn't get in trouble, you know. And so my mom goes out and there I am. I don't know if I had a t-shirt on or any of those things. I, there I was butt naked, uh, you know, burying my underpants. <laughs> oh my goodness. I thought really like, would I really do that? Apparently. This color right here, mixed berries, that purple, that's the next one I'm going to use. But I'm going to work, like I said, on the outer part and work only half on the outer part and work halfway in with that. This color right here is called pink champagne. I'm going to use that one in the inner part and work halfway through. It is pouring down rain out there. It seems like We've had a lot of rain. Remember how well some of these rivers and creeks, like the river near me is the Allegheny River. Hear about Pittsburgh and the three rivers this river connects into. The Pittsburgh, you know, the three rivers. It, it's part of it, you know. I, I do love uh, Pittsburgh. It is a beautiful city. It really is. Uh, speaking of my town that I am in now, we've had several movies filmed here. Um, I don't know if any of you guys, it's a very unusual movie, but basically it is based on true events and people believed it happened. And it's called The Mothman Prophecies. If you've ever watched that movie or heard about it, you might know what I'm talking about. And Virginia or West Virginia was one of the areas that like this bridge collapsed and people got killed. And here where I live at, they used the bridge here. They were here a lot filming it. They used the bridge um, in filming it. And it was the bridge they used to be like the one that collapsed and everything. So it was pretty cool. I was working at Walmart at the time and I got to see uh, at first hand like how they were how they did movies and like, we've had several movies filmed here we even had bloody my bloody valentine but it was the newer version so if you saw the newer version of my bloody valentine again that was some of it was filmed here in my little town like when you're coming off the bridge straight ahead of you when you're just coming in the town is a courthouse you'll probably even see that on the movie but when i was little for some reason, I used to think it was the White House. I don't know why. It wasn't like somebody told me that, that I can even recall. But for some reason, I thought it was the White House. I used to think, how cool, you know, that we lived near the White House. That's I'm going to use penguin white color right up here on the end. Penguin, just like around the brow, brow bone area time dip it into Terramoose by the way. Getting back to the movie, so it was Richard Gere and Laura Linney in the movie. So yes they were here. No I did not get to get an autograph or any of those things. 
I did briefly see Richard Gere, but only for a brief moment when I was in my car and he had his long trench coat on and I only got to see like the back of him and all that kind of stuff. Blair Lenny, I didn't really know who she was much. I didn't know much about her. And one day working at Walmart, somebody let me know, hey, Laura Lenny's in your line. What you know? I had to be the person that had the person in my line that needed a price check. <laughs> so she wasn't going to be standing there for that. Now, behind her was another lady who had a whole bunch of stuff in her, in her cart. I mean, it was like a boatload of stuff. It was piled high. Got the price check. The person left. Laura Lenny went in the line back around behind me and had them wait on her and check her out. And I thought, dang. As the next lady's coming up, you know, I'm talking to her and I'm telling her, you know, like, oh, dang it, you know, like about Laura Linney and everything. And she said, honey, she's like, I'm her um, interior decorator. And I was like, really? And she's like, yeah, she's like, oh, she, she was telling me about her and everything. Cause like, it, it was pretty busy that day. And Laura went out the door and everything. Well, she had like curtains, pillows, she had all these things. And I guess when they're filming, some of them like to feel more, especially if they're going to be a while in filming and be in an area. So she had them, you know, I guess do her area that she was staying for a while up to make it homey feeling. Needless to say, didn't get to see her, didn't get to meet her interior decorator, didn't get an autograph from either one of them. But it was a fun experience to watch a f movie be filmed. I've like, I've seen a couple of them now. I don't know what it is about this area. For some reason, a lot of them get prone to this area. I'm not sure in certain movies. I'm gonna finish this stuff up a little bit and then I will be right back. And we will get into the, I believe, foundation next, yes. Okay, before I forget, I did put a little more darkness on the outer part here a little bit. The foundation. It has the doe foot applicator. A lot of them are getting that now. So I'm not too bothered with it, but I do, I would probably prefer a pump, I'll be honest. So we're going to go ahead and then, as you can see, acne scarring, all kinds of goodies. And for me, what's been working is the brush. My like knockoff to the Artiste brush. When I first tried it, I wasn't really liking this foundation. Um, you can build it up. It is, I don't think it's full coverage. You can build it up. So that's just one, one on. But it does help with redness and stuff that you can see there. I don't normally put any more foundation on. Again, for the sake of the video. I will. And the match color is perfect. I am in LC1, which is light cool. There's two coats we have, but it feels nice. You don't feel it on. It's not heavy. Okay, so this is with the full foundation on. And as you can see, it's, it's a really good match. It, so far, you know, it looks, it looks good. It looks kind of natural. It doesn't look like real cakey, the famous word cakey. So I'll be back after I'm done with the rest of my makeup. Give my final thoughts on everything and, and I will be back. Okay, beauty. So that's, this is the final look that I got with everything. My eyeshadow look my eyelashes, the foundation, and primer. So let's go ahead and go talk about the primer. I do like the primer. I feel like I have to do, I do have to work it with more of a pore minimizing primer to put in the areas that I need to get, to cover up the pores. But overall, I really like, I like this primer. It's really nice. I think it does give a little bit more of an extra illuminating glow. So I like that. The foundation, I feel like I can say I am liking it. I probably will give an update a little bit more 
maybe in a favorites video, let you guys know overall, will it be a repurchase or not? For myself, I like to play around with something for a while to really, really give you um, like a yes, I'm going to buy it again or that reference. I do have the new foundation from Rimmel. There's a new Rimmel foundation and it also has the Dove applicator. A lot of them do. But so far, I mean, I, this foundation is pretty good. I am liking it. The Unlashed uh, Wonder Beauty Mascara. You guys already know because I believe I shared this in my favorites even. Really love this mascara. I would say it's pretty much a favorite mascara of mine. And I will definitely repurchase this. I love this mascara. And then the Sophie palette. I really like the Sophie palette. I think the colors are gorgeous in here. I think quality of the eyeshadows, the way they go on and everything. I mean, as you can see, they're very pigmented. So, but I love the palette. So I would highly recommend it because I think it's gorgeous. There's so many variety of colors in it. And again, like I said, there's just, there's, there's so many looks you can do with it. And I've, I've used this. This is probably my fifth or sixth time using it, you know, so I, I do, I love it. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button as well. Please make sure you hit the bell. The bell will notify you of when my videos are uploaded and ready to watch. I do videos each week, so I'd love to have you. Also, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and enjoyed it, and also share the video. Between the two of those, those will help share me around and get me out there and maybe get a little more noticed and maybe more connection with other people. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. Bye. We'll see you then. I love you guys. Bye.